Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about a really weird scenario that could potentially happen in the 2020 election where we see an absolute Biden landslide. So, um, now, I want to make something pretty clear. I'm not just doing this because I'm a Democrat and I want to fantasize about Biden winning in Arkansas and Missouri. But um, if we are really thinking about a Biden landslide, and I know I've done a best case scenario video for both Biden and Trump, and, and I think I had, disregarding margins, I think I had, uh, not Missouri, I think I had Biden getting, at, at best case scenario, um, I th I'm pretty sure I had him getting, um, let me see how many vote for votes, not Alabama, that's, did not give him Alabama, um, I think I had him getting, just out of all this stuff, um, it's really easy to do the math in my head, so I gotta fill out the map. Um, 413 electoral votes was the best case scenario for Biden. Now, uh, I, I think I explicitly said that he wasn't gonna win Texas. He's probably not gonna win, uh, Nebraska's second district or Iowa or probably not Georgia. Um, you know, but, uh, that would be his best case scenario. Now, now for a Republican best case scenario, you probably, uh, pull out the 2016 map, and then tack on Minnesota and New Mexico, maybe in New Hampshire uh, for Trump. So even even in the best case scenario, I want to see how many electoral votes that is for Biden, uh, or I give it, I think he gets over 200 still, because, two, yeah, because 232, um, because 232 minus Minnesota 10, 15, and, and even New Hampshire, that's still... 213 electoral votes. So Biden still gets 200, e even in the best case scenario. But I've seen videos where uh, they're not going to name names, but people have Biden winning California, New York, Illinois, New not not even New Jersey, um, Maryland, D.C., Delaware. You know, Vermont, Massachusetts, Maine's first district, and that's really Hawaii. And that's it. Like I've seen videos that say this is the absolute best case scenario where Trump. Uh, continues like i mean if he keeps falling at this rate that could be a possibility all right so let's, uh, let's get started with uh what why are the oh, why so this is going to be the weirdest scenario ever and i and i know by and judging by the title of this video you're probably just going to expect me to pull out a map with a tie but here's some of the weirdest scenarios we can see first we can see the absolute biden landslide where um he wins by safe margins in all these states he wins by a, a lean margin in there uh, he wins by a likely margin in the lands like wins uh by safe margin, whoa, whoa, okay, why is, uh, it's being glitchy for some reason, all right, let's, let's see, um, is it being, all right, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's being glitchy, oh, he wins in safe margins in all of the states that I'm labeling as safe, and, and he gets, I mean, realistically, he he's not gonna get, uh, 270 safe electoral votes, but out of, um, safe and likely states, like that, uh, and it would certainly, um, yeah, North Carolina would be likely, but it would certainly be be, be very interesting to see um, this. Uh, plus, you'd probably have um, North Carolina and Florida being lean states. Ohio would be lean. Um, Iowa would still be tilt. Um, Missouri would be tilt, and um, New Hampshire would be likely. Uh, Man at large would also be safe. That would be tilt. Uh, Again, this is the, the wacky scenario possible. So, so Alaska would be tilt. Um, Georgia would actually be lean in that case. Um, and we could actually see Arkansas uh, be competitive, you know, a lean Republican state. Um, all these states would be competitive. Alabama would be safe still. Uh, yeah, these states would be uh, likely. Um, Indiana would be likely. Um, Kansas would be likely. Oklahoma would be likely. Nebraska, all with their uh, second district, that would still be safe. Um, South Dakota would be, uh, would be likely, um, Utah would be likely, and, and Montana would actually be lean because of Steve Bullock's run there for governor, um, for Senate, and Mike Cooney for governor. Texas would probably be a toss-up, but I mean, till Biden isn't, doesn't seem crazy. So again, we're considering um, the the wackiest possibility for the election. That would be pretty wacky if we saw um, Biden win by this much. And what I am going to say is that uh, Biden is is never far and away, or is never ever going to carry 
all 50 states. That's not going to happen. But Trump could carry our Trump could carry 50 states, and here's here's how he could do it. Now, I'm not going to uh, talk about margins, but uh, let's just fill in this whole map uh, red. Let's just use the F key so we can fill this whole map in red, 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 red. And I know this is a Democrat's worst nightmare, uh, but this is probably a, it's a really wacky scenario. But um, we can see this map happening, and we're not going to have this uh, uh, blue because because they're not in power. But what could happen is, is, is we could see Donald Trump. Uh, we could see him. Uh, how do I put this? We could see him essentially suppress the vote. So there's a lot of suppression already going on in these states uh, that I'm going to uh, point out. Uh, and it happened in, in the 2016 election. Uh, sorry, not West Virginia. There's no suppression there. But, um, there's a lot of suppression that goes on in these states, especially in these states of, Al- of Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, uh, Kentucky, and Florida. That's where it happens the most. Virginia used to have suppression, not anymore, because they have a Democratic governor. Um, but, but if you read uh, Stacey Abrams' book, it is horrifying how much uh, leaders of the GOP suppress the vote in the South. Um, so we can see that playing in across the South. But again, even if even if Biden loses all the South, including Virginia, he, he still has um, a pathway to victory. Now, it'll be harder because uh, he, he's counting on winning Virginia, and uh, it, it, it would be very helpful if he won uh, either one of um, – not West Virginia. I, I'm horrible at clicking. If he won – North Carolina, and Florida. Uh, but let's look at um, what's going to happen right now. So, um, all right, so Biden can still win without the South. He can lose Virginia and still win. Uh, so, yes, that it's certainly going to be interesting. Um, but anyways, he's had the victory without winning any Southern states. However, what he does not have a path to victory in is losing the Midwest and He's not going to win. Spoiler alert, he's not going to win if this is the electoral map. So, essentially, I think that there is a small, very small possibility that uh, that Donald Trump wins this election by essentially suppressing the vote, by not allowing mail-in ballots. And people, I know in this crazy scenario, people are scared to vote, or they don't vote. Uh, against states like California, Oregon, and Washington would be very narrow. So would Nevada. Um, so would Colorado and New Mexico. Oh, uh, we see very, very narrow margins in in all of these states for Donald Trump, but uh, it would still, at the end of the day, it would still go for the president because people are scared to vote, and mostly, mostly liberals, um, um, they would be scared to vote in this presidential election. Mostly liberals. So again, um. Liberals do t- take COVID-19 a lot more seriously uh, than conservatives. We've learned that significantly. Um, but, um, I mean, it's it, it's really just shows uh, how much this has affected the election. Uh, even like even though this, even though in 9 out of 10 scenarios, it's better for Biden um, than it is for Trump, this is the one scenario where this kills Biden. All right, so the, the last scenario I'm going to talk about is where we see non-electoral tie, and maybe I was going to say electoral tie, but where we see a bit of a, um, a, I'll just fill it in, and I'm not going to do margins here, but we could realistically see this map. Not realistically, actually. Uh, it'll be really unlikely that this happens, and it, and it would still result in, in a Democrat a victory, but we could see this map very easily. And now maybe he'll lose Missouri, whatever. Um, but we can see Biden losing all, all of these states that are well, he'll in Hawaii, trust me. Uh, but we, we can see him after where he loses Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico, and Colorado. And he needs three of those four states. He doesn't need Arizona, although he, although he probably does. But um, he needs Nevada, he, he needs Colorado, and he needs New, Mexico's, New Mexico to win. He could lose those states. And again, Joe Biden does not have a uh, huge popularity among Hispanics. Now, he's still going to carry those states in all likelihood because they're just going to trend to the left. And in, in Hispanics are probably still going to go and vote down ballot Democrat. Uh, but still, he does not have a ton of, of appeal. He's probably worse than Hillary Clinton. 
with them. And Hillary Clinton still lost Arizona. Now Arizona is trying to the left, blah, blah, blah. And he's going to, and Biden's going to carry it. Um, but still, it's very, very interesting uh, because he does not have the same appeal to Hispanics that Hillary Clinton did. So, yes, this is it. I know this is a really random video. But, um, yeah, th thanks for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.